Good evening, everyone. Back again with you with the formal and informal words, part two. The informal versus the formal words. Ask to inquire. He was asking for dinner. He was asking for his room. He wanted to know something about the timetable. He was asking for the timetable. And inquire, formal word. He inquired about the report. He inquired about his joining. He inquired about the status of his health. The second word is ask for, to request. I wanted to ask for some time. She asked for a cup of tea. She requested for a glass of water. Requested means formal. Get or receive. I got a new phone. I got the news from the neighbors. And formally, I received a letter from the bank. I received my offer letter. I received my check. And the next words are help and assist. You need to help the weak students. You need to help the small child with his lunch. And it was very kind of you to have assisted me. It was very kind of you to have assisted me. Please assist the person with the handwriting. The next words are book, you book a ticket, you book a seat somewhere, or you reserve. Your tickets are booked for the movie tonight. Your seat is reserved for tomorrow. So it is booked, the tickets are booked and seats are reserved, formally speaking to check and to verify. Please check the number you've dialed. Please sign your name to verify you have received the letter. So please check, check it out. Informally speaking and verify formally. Please verify, please sign your name to verify. You have received the letter, you have received the package or whatever. So check and verify the same, but formal and informal words. The next is say sorry or apologize. I'm really sorry to know of your loss. I'm sorry, today I came late. I'm sorry, I could not give you much time. I'm sorry to hear the bad news. And the formal word is apologize. The student apologized for his behavior. You need to apologize. Even if you have thought of something else, but you must apologize. You must say sorry. So informally to say sorry and formally Apologize. Very easy word, start, begin. Let's start the class. Let's start our practice. Let's start the game over. And the formal word is commence. Let us start our practice. The class commences at nine every day. The class starts at nine every day. 
But instead of start, we can use commence. The start commences at nine every day. The next pair of words end to terminate or to finish. The show ended pretty late in the evening. The show ended pretty late in the evening. Pretty late means very late in the evening. You have no right to terminate the contract. So nobody has given you the right to terminate the contract. The next two words are try and endeavor. Please try again later. Please try to finish your homework. Please try to come on time. And you need to endeavor anything you really wish to know. You need to endeavor anything you wish to really know. You need to try to put your mind together, to your mind and heart together. If you want to know something, you must try it out. So the, you need the endeavor to do this. So you need to endeavor anything you wish to really know. Simple word, go and depart. The car will go now to pick you up. The train will depart on time. The train will go on time. So go informal and depart. The departure and the arrival. The, the car has come. The car has arrived. So arrived and departed. Tell to inform. Tell informal. Inform formal. Please tell her to be on time. Please tell her. The car has already left to pick her up. Please inform her of the changes in the plan. Mend. Prepare karna. Mend. The sofa needs to be mended. The office requires repair. The office requires to be repaired. The office requires to be repaired. You must really check out for your grammar. The office requires to be repaired. Idea, something which comes in your mind. The formal word is notion. He came up with a brilliant idea. He came up with a good idea. Think of a notion to help the group. So these were the words for today. Uh, you've been complaining quite a few times for the updating of vocabulary. Some students in the class said we are, we are not able to speak English because of the lack of vocabulary. Get to know a lot of words, 10, 20 words a day, brush up your skills, take down the vocabulary, make sentences, write them, but speak it out also. Only theory is not important. You need to work out in conversations. Right? That's all for today. We'll be back again with part three of vocabulary workout.